Hey guys, before this episode starts, you want to see how to originate a TORC? This is how. Made a new recording. You know, not every, not all TORs on AM FM have to have the attention tone. A tornado warning has been issued for Chippewa County and Eau Claire County, effective until 9:09 p.m. I do that every time just to trigger him. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, put that all back in. Three, two, one, dump. <laughs> dump just like Kim Kardashian's cum. No. Okay, yeah. Anyways. Without further ado, why don't we get on with the fucking episode? Literally. Not the f literal fucking episode, the fucking episode. Uh, Guys, help. Chester the child molester is in my house. This, is, this ain't your house, it's mine. I don't think so, Chester. Explain the Hyundai. That's Nicholas's. Nicholas! Chester. <laughs> Let's get on with the fucking episode. Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with Mr. iPhone. Yes. I identify as Mr. Apple. Fucking uh, oh, my camera's really foggy. There we go. Fucking uh Thunder Buddy 01. Yes. And sorry if the flash is bothering you. Yeah, I hope it's fine. not. I hope it's not. It's not. Okay, good. Because in this episode of Radio Reviews, we are going to be reviewing the successor to the WR400, which is right next to it. The Midland WR400 version 2. Let's get right to it. Version 2 WR400. Now, I personally call it a, a facelifted WR400 because they, while they didn't change much on the front, the main changes are on the back. So if I flip around the, the 400s here, this is the original model released sometime in 2017. As you can see here, it has a micro USB port um, for, for the power on the back. Whereas the facelifted version, which I want to say was released in 2018, sometime in late 2018, early 2019 maybe, they swapped out the power adapter from a micro USB to a standard uh, cylinder head. Now if I flip the radios over to the back side, the bottoms I should say, you can tell here, just plain with rubber feet. Over here, they actually put uh, mounting screws 
and they actually put in a little rivet on the on the back next to the battery cover. So let's say if you wanted to hang this up, but you didn't want the cord to be hanging off the side, and I just noticed there's a scratch there, but whatever. Um, you can actually put the uh, the power cord through there if you wanted to, let's say, hang it up on the wall, or in my case, the cork board. And you didn't want to, uh, and you didn't want the cord to be, like, hanging, hanging around freely. You could, you could, uh, put the cord through there. Now, they did make some software-related changes. Or should I say firmware, because, you know, you don't really know. Also, the, uh, the lights on here, the, uh, pink light on there, that's just from this. Yeah, I know, I'm flexing my Philips Hue light bulbs way too frequently. You can shut it. But, uh... But the... But we're gonna discuss the the changes between the the new... For, the, the, the new 400 has as opposed to the original model. The first part, software related, it'll be the alert blocking. <laughs> Allow me to trigger you hungry viewers. Doritos? Yes. There you go. So, first, so first let's talk about the alert blocking. Oh, look at that, we're venturing out and doing different things, but, <laughs> we just, but, we, but we figured we, could, we should cover the most notable changes on here, because the button beast and the siren test, you, you could just refer to season one for that. Mm -hmm. So, first, if I go to, Oh well, first thing you first thing right away, the menu lag has been eliminated. See right there, menu lag, right here. Almost immediate. Mhm. Mm then if I go here to uh, set events, and I go to edit. Now practice demo, dust storm, evacuation watch. And flash flood watch. On here, I just scrolled right by it. Let's see. Evacuation watch, extreme wind warning. Now, you may be wondering what's the big deal? If I go to um I believe it's after this, um Severe weather statement, right to tornado watch. Oh yeah, look yeah, at that. Storm surge watch. And storm surge warning. This WR400 has the newer codes. Unlike a certain handheld. Looking right the fuck at you, EH55VP. So... Or should I say, VPIS? Some value pack you are. So. HH54 duplicate copying copycat head ass bitch. So yeah. These have the, 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 the facelifted WR400s have the newer event codes in there. Mm -hmm. And I, you know what, screw it. I'll just cover all the uh, software and internal changes right here. So the button clicks on here, they sound very differently. Depending on where you press, of course. Mm -hmm. And as I had touched on before, the menu lag is gone. Listen to this. Version 1. Version 2. And another thing I should note, I'm going to mute the volume on this so I don't get copyright. If I go to FM here, let's, let's say I want to tune to a certain local primary state. Well, I say local primary. It's a local, but it's not a primary. So I'm going to tune these to 107.3. So... Watch this 400. Go this the original 400 goes right back to 87.5. The facelifted 400 you can actually tune to 107.9 on here. 
And that actually solves a big issue I was having with this 400, because WEBE on 107.9, some some of y'all Connecticut people refer to, might refer to it as WEBE 108. This model, the 400, the original, could not get it. The <clears throat> facelifted can. So, I don't know if they changed anything on the AM. Let's see. Uh, nope, they don't think they ha eliminated any frequencies on the on the old version of the 400. I'm going to set these back to WICC 600 AM. This way you can tune into the Italian house party on Sunday. No. Um, so as I mentioned, menu lag is pretty much gone. Newer event codes have been added. FM tuning for 107.5 up to 107.9 has been restored. And as far as physical changes, obviously, I as I mentioned in the beginning, they swapped out the, the head for the power adapter uh, on the newer version. They mm -hmm. also included uh, uh, mounting holes, and they also did a uh, a little ridge for the power cord. This well, way, on the V1, it doesn't have any of that. And this one is powered by micro USB, just like the freaking Eton FRX5. Which Eton still has yet to fucking send back. Yeah. So. Hopefully, so hopefully I get my FRX Five BT back. If not, maybe a sidekick as a replacement. But aside from that, why don't we talk about some of the more basic and pretty much common features on the four hundred? And that would and that would be the button beeps. <laughs> All right, the button beeps on the version 2 Midland WR400. So if I go into here, no invalid beeps, all the same one. Now let's hear the V1. Look at that menu lag, it's fucking... Ugh. I noticed the button beeps on the version 2 has less clicks than the version 1. Listen. Huh, didn't notice that. I just did. And it's not because of the buttons, listen. But yeah, the button beeps have certainly gotten more efficient on the version 2 WR400. So yeah, now we're going to go into the next feature, and uh, that would be the siren test on both of them. Okay, the siren test on the Midland WR400 version 2. First, let's do the version 1 for comparison. Now for the V2. Notice how I was able to do it faster than the V1. So yeah, obviously the V2 has faster responding times than the V1. Oh my god, it's still fucking stuck at saving on the V1. That's so painfully slow, it's not even funny. <clears throat> Thank God they got rid of the menu lag on the V on the from the V1 to the V2. Thank God they got rid of that. Cause that was literally getting Ugh. I hate that. Same I'm here. just especially Oh, another thing I've noticed with both the V2 and the V1. The menu tends to lag when the button beeps are enabled, but when they're disabled, it goes as fast as possible. But only with the button beeps off. So, uh, yeah. 
Also, you did mention earlier how you can finally go to 107.9 on the V2. Something that the V1 could not do. Very stupidly enough. Um, but... Why don't we get into the next feature, shall we? Shall we talk about the build quality next? Good boy. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. Let's go to the build quality on the V2. No need for the V1 because this thing is already built well enough. But let's take a look at the V2 and see if it kept that promise. All right, the build quality on the Midland WR400 version 2. Who's platoon fuck colors? Um. <laughs> was for, I did that to trigger Zion, bitch. But you realize I have Splatoon as well. So? On the Switch. It's not directed at you, Dickolus. You said Splatoon thought. No, I said Splatoon fuck colors. You know, the orange cream soda color of Miggy's put No, I'm not going to go there. That's classified information for Zion and Zion only. So, yeah. Anyways, um... Yeah, let me just go ahead and go to the build quality. Silver Reploid, if you watch this part of the video, I am so fucking sorry. You do not need to hear that, and it's just a joke. I won't... N <laughs> I don't have a Splatoon fetish. Neither does Zion, it's just a fucking inside joke, okay? I am so sorry if you have to hear this. Silver Reploid, please don't hurt me. I'm an innocent boy. Anyways. Man, some boy that looks like a dog that... No. Mm. Fuck off. I just want... Okay. Fuck can't go off. It can only go from side to side and in and out. It goes in and out your fucking hand when you jerk off to the fucking black and silver. It says the guy that jerks off my fucking dog. I don't oh, do yeah. that. They explain why he was... That sounds like a George Carlin skit. Who the fuck is George Carlin? <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know who that guy is. This motherfucker never heard of George Carlin. This motherfucker never heard of George Carlin. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. Have you been living under a rock known as Upton's antics? My soul is a rock. No. <laughs> George Carlin was... One of the funniest and harshest and most vulgar comedians out there. Oh, really? Fun fact. During my first breakup, it actually helped with my depression. Oh. He's that funny. Alright. Like, besides you guys helping me out, of course, his videos and his skits actually helped with my depression. He is hilarious. Albeit extremely vulgar, but goddamn, he is... Hilarious, and the best part is, the things he says, it's the truth, and especially in today's society. You have the corona, and the fucking... Uh, he actually predicted that in one of his skits. No joke. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. It's on YouTube if you want to see it, but anyways, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, the build quality on the... 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 <laughs> <laughs> Midland WR400 version 2. Obviously, this thing looks very nice and shiny and sleek, and everything is all happy and glory and dandy. Other times, you'll find some other flaws, like on the V1, but they've been ironed out and corrected on the V2. So, let's start off with the antenna first. The antenna is known for bending easily, as demonstrated when is demonstrated back a few years back by Jacob Stupid Smith, aka Severe Weather Liker Three. Remember that where he bent the antenna on the fucking unboxing of the 400 V1 at the Hold time. Up. Let me let me pull up the video just to shame him. Oh. <laughs> by the way, uh, Jacob, if you ever watch this, this is only we're just joking around. We're not actually trying to shame you here. You're a good guy. So, yeah, while well, Dickolus goes ahead and pulls up the video. More specifically, the part where he bends the antenna. 
Anyways, yeah. Um, I am going to continue talking about the build quality. So, as compared earlier to the version 1 400, on the bottom, there is no ridges on the bottom, just rubber feet, and there's the battery cover. But on the V2, you can see that there's a ridge for the power cord. They kind of pulled a radio shack, didn't they? Kind of, yeah. Because the 262, 521, they, they all have it. They all have like a tiny, uh, albeit a smaller ridge than this, but this is like for the cord and stuff. It has wall mounting holes on the V2 compared to the V1. And the battery cover is still the same. So yeah. And it still has the quick programming reference on the battery cover. Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened? I can't see what? it. I just bent the antenna. If, if I may. What about the sides? Oh my gosh. I heard that. What? I just bent the antenna. I heard that. Oh. Was it? I am. This radio is brand new and I literally just bent oh. the antenna. How did that happen? What'd you even do to it? That sucks. That sucks. Ooh. So, uh, don't be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the antenna is, uh, very... Oh. So, so uh, because of my clumsy ass, I accidentally made the fucking phone stop recording because it fucking tilted over like uh, someone's dick with erectile dysfunction. Anyways, the antenna on the version 1 is extremely flimsy, as demonstrated by Jacob Stupid Smith. Yeah. Because he bent it in this direction, and I'm not applying any force here, but even doing it like this, you can already see that it's very, very liable to bend this way. You have to be extreme. I usually do it with like the one quadrant at a time just to avoid doing that. That's how most antennas get bent anyway. You just shove it down, higgity, and it bends because of the amount of force that you're putting on the antenna. And what you do, oh boy, expect to be billed by Midland for a replacement if it's not under warranty. Now the version 2 400, I think it's the same story. Actually, I think, no, it's a little bit more durable than the V1 antenna. But, as I've showed you before, the V1 does not have the mounting brackets or holes or the ridge in between. It's powered by micro USB instead of a wall wart adapter. But the version 2 is powered by a wall wart. And it does have the ridge right here and wall mounting holes in case you wanted it to be, in case you wanted it to be mounted on the wall. So that's already a good thing. Also, the buttons are made of slightly better material. And the menu lag is gone. The firmware is much more reliable. The backlight switch also is much more reliable because uh, I noticed the, the screen, the display on my 400 is wearing out. Probably because it, probably because it was on a freaking high, the highest setting possible. Well, you, you, you it, the worst part about the backlight is that you can't disable it. Yeah, you can only dim it. Mm-hmm. Which is bullshit. But, um... Yeah. I already have a complaint about the version 2. And the V1, too. And the 400s in general. So, if I may... As WXM80 continues to be off the fucking air... Thanks, Upton. I'm sure I say Downton. Come on, we got a slight risk tomorrow. I don't want you fuckers to be down on crack cocaine trying to fix WXM80 in Riverhead, New York when it doesn't even fucking work. I don't want to hear your crackling voice, bitch asses. I don't want to see the fucking signal lost lights going on. I don't want WXM80 to be like the new fucking Cool 35. I don't want to hear this for a living.
Next thing you know, they come back on the air after we finish recording. I swear to God, if that actually happens, I will literally run outside onto Madison, onto the deserted Madison Avenue and scream, you fucking fuckers finally did it. Assuming it's empty like it was last night. Ugh. Anyways. Um, first complaint. So... Uh, try not to get any more Doritos crumbs um, on my bed, Dorito please. Dust, Dorito dust, Dorito dust, Dorito dust, There you go. Okay, so, first complaint. Before you stop recording, I am going to tell you what it is in advance. When I stop talking, I want you to stop recording, but I want you to look at what I'm about to say. I want you to point the camera at me and just listen to my sincerity and my fucking voice for this. And as you do that fucking zoom effect <laughs> that everybody likes, just listen to this in all sincerity. The 400s are designed to be the most modern desktop radio from Midland there is, with AM, FM capabilities, or just in general. This version came out in 2017. This one came out in 2019. And I just want to ask you... Why do, let me guess. Why doesn't it have HD radio? No. Why in the name of fuck? Okay? You have a predecessor three of your predecessors right behind you on the Midland shelf right here. So I want to ask you, Midland, I want to ask you, if this is a brand new radio, oh, are both of these, if both of these radios are brand new, okay, why in the absolute pissing shit uh, by would no you remove a feature that this one has, but those don't? This was what? Um, that is a oh. yeah, that is a tracking number thing. Let's uh, let's not show that to the public. Um, so yeah, I completely forgot that the 400s did not have that feature. So yeah, yeah. So, no custom alerts. Yeah, I don't know why the uh, Midland decided to remove that. That was like, especially since uh, let's just say uh, two more alerts got. With the microphones on this side for the camera, right? Next Both to the Both sides, stereo microphone. Oh, lucky fucking... Oh, wait. I was about to say, yours is stereo, too. But, uh... But, yeah. Um, let's just say that there were some more codes added in. Like, uh... Let's see. Snow Squall warning. Uh... And, most recently, assuming... Assuming they're gonna even tone it, uh... Blue Alert was added in, too? Yes. BLU. Which I think is kind of fucking redundant because, uh, yeah, we have law enforcement warning for that. Um. Oh, shit. This doesn't have snow squall warning. It does not. So that came out in... 2019. It had to. Because, look. Look at the serial number. 191. And look at this. This came out in 2017. 171. 2017, 2019. Snow squall warning came in late 2018. It was implemented in January 2019. I mean, just look at sheer nuttiness to snow squall edition. Well, granted, well, why the fuck wouldn't they have that in there? Well, granted, I only had the version of uh, the original 400, as a, and I, I didn't have the facelifted version at the time. But, but still, you self-activated it, right? Yes, I with the snow squall warning code. Uh, yeah, let's just say that uh, a certain somebody that uh, removed EAS encoder 2.4 from the fucking public decided not to not to encode a fucking snow squall warning. Thanks, cunt. Um, I mean, I still have the encoder. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I do too. It's just uh, I just uh, haven't gotten the chance to install it, and also because uh, let's just say that fucking uh, let's just say that I've been having a tiny bit of trouble adding in uh, adding in audio files in general to my iPod Touch. Well, but, yes, iTunes was being a bitch for you too. Well, here's the thing. Apple basically removed the iTunes name in general. Oh yeah, they killed iTunes. iTunes is dead. Well, only on the Mac side of things. If and I pull why up Why is that backlight off? It should be constant. The version ones don't have that. Oh, wait. Fuck me. You're right. I wouldn't want to fuck you. That's kind of gay. But, uh, but yeah, uh, Snow Squall Warning is just non-existent on this radio. So, 
And Non-existent like the fucking common sense that Midland had when making the fucking thing. But, personally, I mean, it doesn't really bother me as much because I have other radios that can just scroll it with ease. Like, I have my, what is that? Uh, hi, Mount Holly, how the hell are you doing? Kent, Delaware, and uh, Caroline, Kent, and Queen Anne's, Maryland, how are you doing? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, I'll be right back. It's around five miles per hour. Uh, around 80. Channel 7? 10 miles per 7? Hour. And for mostly sunny. High lower 80s. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour. And and risk categories. Low risk. Important to the sun. Do not support the of groins, jetties, reefs, or empty. Nothing, right? Life-threatening rip currents are possible in the surf zone. Anyone? Yeah. What feature were we going to discuss next, Stephen? Um, I was still talking about the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, I was still talking about the, about the alert, you know, the, the lack of alerts. The, oh. The custom alerts. Well, let's just, uh, well, with a snap of my finger, let's go back inside in three, two, one. Ugh. Ugh, Christ. Okay, how, how the hell did I get behind the camera again? And uh, I heard something fall. That was your HH50. Oh, I bet. Um, so, as I was saying, sorry for that uh, interruption. Um, we were trying to get WXA94 in Lewis, Delaware, but uh, yeah, that kind of just uh, oofed itself. Tropo said fuck you to us. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, you can turn the fan back on if you'd like. All right, bet. My poor ceiling fan, you're abusing it. No, I'm not. I'm just making it spin faster. Let it spin naturally. Um, so you, I'm, I'm personally not as bothered about how you aren't able to add alerts to it, but mainly because I have other radios that can do the same thing. Like, you have a fucking end deck. Oh wait, it is fine, chip. If someone could hook me up with the six point uh, five point X to six point two ROM, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, or ROM six point two and deck. That way, I, I can take this. Wait, what? Well, just I'd like rather want, just well, like how I want to take the TFT. So no. Well, it'll probably be easier to get the ROM than to get an actual end deck, but right. Plus the plus, I think you could swap out the ROM chip anyway. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying, I'm personally not as bothered about the radio not having the ability to add alerts. I mean, yeah, it's an inconvenience, but if you have other radio, if you're like me and you, and you collect weather radios up the fucking wazoo, like, look, the first alert SFA 1150, the running snail, I'm sorry, the running shit, um, all of those four radios back there, the Sanjian, the alert works, the Emerson, uh, that first alert over there, that actually has the ability to add alerts, although it's up to four. The, three, the 300, the, the other 300 that I have in the 301, that actually works. You, know, you cunt! Who you calling a cunt? I'm not you! A, I'm not a woman. But you desire it. <laughs> so... <laughs> so when you have other, if you're like me and you have other radios that can basically scroll snow squall warning, he's a bachelor life. If you have other radios that can scroll uh, snow squall warning or any other custom alert, it's fine. Plus you have a. Uh, plus you you can just tell by what what alert it is by hearing the Paul voice. Now I don't know if Mount Holly uh, switched over to the new snow squall warning codes or if they still tone snow squall warnings as uh, severe weather statements. But I mean, they might. I don't know what Mount Holly does. I know they used to tone them with severe weather statements. I don't know if they still do that, but probably not. We have yet to see what GSP does with those. Yeah, they they didn't even issue a snow squall warning. Not once yet. What's Although they're very rare up in the Carolinas, anyway. What were you gonna say though? But yeah, um. The adding alerts feature can kind of uh, 
It kind of doesn't really uh, bother me. What I wish Midland did with, with these, and maybe this will get a separate video of its own. But I wish the I wish Midland gave the 400 the ability to decode AM and FM alerts the same way that it decodes NOAA alerts. Kind of like uh, this thing. Oh, that's some bleach piece of shit. It's not a piece of yes, shit. Yes, it is. It's only okay. It's only a partial piece of shit because the wall mounts are broke. Yeah, I was about to bring up this piece of fucking yellow shit. Look at this. He had this in his fucking attic a couple days ago when we were looking at it through his Monster Jam diecast, which are still in my guest room. But yeah, here's the fucking thing. As soon as he took out the fucking wall mounter, which was still brand new, mind you. As soon as he took it out, and not even without touching this piece of fucking thing, because of how sun bleached and brittle the plastic is, like a granddad's dick. This is what happened. The fucking latch broke. And I was insulted, and I'm forever salty. But, anyways, um, enough Piece about- of shit! So, enough about that. Uh, why don't we talk about another flaw with this radio that, I, that you mentioned briefly off-camera. And that's with the antennas. And the insane amount of interference that this radio gets when the antennas are down. Yeah, let's get into that. Okay, the antenna interference. I need to climb up on this bed to prepare for this bullshit. Okay, so where I live, I am in very mountainous terrain. Nicholas has been up there, he can vouch for that. I practically live in the middle of fucking nowhere on top of a goddamn mountain. Well, technically in the middle of a mountain, but yeah. Nevertheless, I still get a lot of stations. Yes, I get more stations than Nicholas on a daily basis, but still. Fucking a signal triggered. Doesn't, a signal doesn't fucking matter anyway because it's always... It's been fucking dying since Hurricane Michael passed. But, because, because you hit the wrong side of Florida. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, anyway. So. Yeah. Even with... It, okay, this, this is weird to hold. Um, so yeah, I'll hold it. So, even with the somewhat uh, somewhat better signal that I get over here, even despite WXM80 being down, you fucking bitches. Um, Still down. So, an issue that Michael actually pointed out, and I just noticed. So, I'm going to be using WXJ 40, 42 as an example. Um, it's, signal over here is kind of, signal on, at this particular part of the room is kind of spotty. Same thing over there. But it's when you go out, even when you go outside on a low power station like WNG 538, I tried to use it with fully charged batteries and the fucker won't even, wouldn't even pick it up properly. Like, like it would pick it up, but you would be hearing like this. From the speaker at the. Like that. Yeah. Yes, exactly like that. And guess what? To add insult to injury, they didn't even correct that flaw on the V2. Watch you can, this. Right, you kind of have to exit out of the menu first. <laughs> there we go. Nine degrees. Wind was south at seven miles an hour. At Norwalk. Temperature was 79 degrees. You hear that? New York. Suffolk, Southwest, Suffolk, like Northern Nassau, Southern... It's on life support. How unbelievably bad is that? Very. Even with the 300s, they don't do that. I mean, hell, even with the antenna down, with the battery down and all my electronics turned off and shit, I was still able to get WNG538 perfectly on the 300. And even the 301 when it was still fucking working. And I shall forever torture you with my working one. Until I get a new 300 and replace the insides of the 301. I swear to God, if you use a version 8, I will kill you. <laughs> And? 
and I will drive down to North Carolina and take your version 8 WR301. Nope, you? that's mine, bitch, if I decide to do that. That's mine. <laughs> okay, if okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. If you want to take my version 8301, I guess I'll take your TFT. It's a piece of shit anyway. Really? Maybe. Okay, deal. <laughs> you see, you're hesitant. <laughs> Nicholas loves his electronics and all of his index and shit. Even though the TFT is kind of a piece of shit, but it works. That's all I care yeah, about. But works. anyways, it works, deal. But it works, but I watch. I, 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 watch. watch. Uh, He's hesitant. <laughs> anyways, you were saying? Yeah, I mean the TFT works, but. It has its issues, and I would like for if if I were to give someone an electronic device, I would like for it to be at least working properly. Like, granted, with the seventy four two ten that I gave him, the speaker was kind of busted, but I was. But to be fair, I wasn't expecting him to actually fix it. I didn't. I didn't know he even could fix it. But I guess. I he, mean, the spare FRX three in a new replacement that compilation. That was the one I took apart, and I just used the speaker on that to replace the speaker with a 74210, and it worked like a breeze. So, the 74210 actually has some FRX3 blood in it now. And it still works perfectly fine to this day. Maybe we should trade 74210. No. Yours already works, and plus yours is an older version, and it's faster in the menus. True, yeah. Like, look, mine takes a couple seconds to go to the menu, but with this, you just have to press it. I don't know why the newer versions... Whoa! <laughs> it bounced. But I don't know why the newer versions take longer to go into the menus than the... That's like how they did with the old versions of the Recom with the new ones. The newer ones take a shorter amount of time to go into the menus... But in the old one, like this Recom R1650A, which we reviewed in 2018, in Season 3, it takes about, like, two or three seconds. But on the R1650D, it takes, like, I'd say mm -hmm. about a second, give or take. Mm hmm By the way, if you were wondering if we were going to review this or not, we're not. Because the 1650C and the D are basically the same thing. Yeah. Just with slightly, slightly, you know, better firmware. Yeah, like, it doesn't have that dreaded six-hour uh, six event glitch. Nope. And, and the lights are a little bit brighter. And mm. the, uh... The speaker sounds better, too. And you, all, and you can also turn it up a bit higher as opposed to, uh, stopping at 16. You can actually turn that up to 24, I believe. Yep, 24. But anyways... Yeah. The antenna interference on both of these radios are pretty bad. But... Yeah, we apologize for getting super sidetracked on that. That's what keep it that's what keeps it devious, but um also, I'm not trying to beg for anything here, but I'm just gonna be honest. As long as the thing works, I would still take it. Because that's like something I've been dreaming to have, and even though it has its flickering issues, I could even probably just fix it or something, but it works still. So I personally wouldn't mind, but that's besides the point. The point is this. We're about to get into the next feature, and that would be the speaker quality. So the speaker quality on the 400. So I believe this is the version 1 I'm grabbing. Yep. yep. Uh, so the speaker, on, the speaker on both of them, I'd say it's still the same. Actually, I'm going to tune to... Uh, Here, I got it. Let's tune to... WRCN on a 103.9. No. Hey, our guys did the thing. This is the version face. 2, the facelift, I should Let's say. Let's do the V1 first. You were a Marine fighting over there. You find one of your friends that's had that done to them. How many prisoners are you taking? You're not. All of them! No. <laughs> 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 Echo. F 
fuck yourself. <laughs> so, the version. So the so the original one sounds pretty bassy, if I'm honest. Now let's check out the V2. Very very difficult to leap from that to Scout Sniper. Most people do not make it. The guy in charge of this unit, of putting together his Scout Sniper unit, which was going to do. Who's going to do Dick Richard Hart? No. <laughs> Oh, I better tell him that. He would love that. So, yeah, the the version, the, the facelifted WR-400, yeah, sorry if I keep bouncing in between the two, but the facelifted WR-400 speaker sounds a little, sounds pretty much the same as the original, a bit bassy. Maybe this one has, maybe this one's a little bit louder. One thing I've noticed about the newer speaker is that it's slightly less raspy. Well, he starts looking. He gets to hand pick his unit. Of <laughs> hand pick. That's what she said. Uh <laughs> yes. I saw that out of the corner of my saw eye. What? Break time is jail. Marine Corps jail. He only wanted Marines who had break time for fighting because, and I think this is a direct quote from him. Oh, God. The I guy who wins the fight time. goes to the brig. The guy who loses the fight goes to the infirmary. I want. I had a nightmare about Marine Corps jail. It's fucking terrible. We could probably discuss that off camera. We don't want to give yeah, any. Yeah, I know, but ugh. now that he brings that up, you know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the speaker quality is a little bit better, but I'm still gonna rate it the same way as I rated the version one speaker back in season one. And that brings us to our next feature. We're gonna discuss the reception without WXM80, you fucking twat muffins. Okay, we're only going to do weather band this time because you already heard the reception kind of on the FM band, but we're going to both do them on the weather band. Oh, fucking menu lag. Forgot. Okay, set channel. Version 1 first. For the following areas in New York, northwest Suffolk, southwest Suffolk, northern... Barely getting WWH 33. 79. 79. 79. 79. West Hampton. The weather conditions were not available. A fail? In New Jersey. At Teterboro, it was clear with a temperature of 83. Hold now, on, did I just hear some bleed through on channel 1? Hmm? I heard, I heard something else coming in on channel 1, but very briefly. The I day, hear it too. Q, high value, the great K Street 38. In Atlantic City. Existing respiratory problems such as asthma or heart disease. Those with symptoms should consider. Nice. Indoor reception. We already scored a faraway station, hey. Eh? established so New York residents can stay informed on the air quality. This one's slightly giving it too. Here is the latest weather map. WXM 60. Oh, one thing I noticed, one thing I noticed, when the antennas touch together with any radio, this happens. Six seconds. On the western sound. Point recorded eight south wind at eight nine. Not that, that's normal, but listen. The air temperature was 80 degrees. Bridgeport Harbor, a southwest wind at six knots was reported. The air temperature was 80 degrees. Okay, it's not working now, but sometimes the broadcast will, like, cut out. I don't know if you noticed that or yeah, not. Yeah, I noticed but... it too. Oh, okay. But now we're gonna go outside to see how much better the reception is. Hopefully, 
we can get some new stations like we did with the Max on. That was cool, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get busy. Oh, I was going to fall, but whatever. Radio secured. And belly button showing. So, why don't we go to the back of Ellie, right, real, real quick. And, ooh, like this plate. Huh. AM.51844. Yeah, the dot is a kind of, uh, huh, I just noticed something. You can only the watermarks? See, yeah, the watermarks. You can only see them with your bare eyes. You can't probably, you probably can't see it on, on camera unless they get, oh, you can't even get up close to it. Just blocks it out, but that's how you tell they're real, right there. All right, so let's. Is this the V1 of the? That's the, yeah. This is the V1. Yeah, let's start with the version one. Uh, and hello, Firefly, if that's what you are. Yep. Okay, you want to do it? Yeah. So let's start with. Come on. Just wind five to ten knots. Seas one foot. Getting Kz 338 bit clearing. Northeast winds around five knots, becoming east in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely mainly in the evening. Waves two feet or less. Sunday, southwest wind five to ten knots. Channel two. Nothing. WXM 60? Uh, maybe. See, 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 that's exactly what I was talking about with the antenna interference on WNG 538 back at home. That's what I would get. And it would only be on that frequency. Thunderstorms after oh. midnight. Thursday, southwest. Oh, crystal clear over here. We. Nope. Thunderstorms. WXL 37. Which may cause poor drainage, flooding of low lying areas. Uh, Highland. Highland is where? where? New York. Thunderstorms Thursday in the Highland New York. The early evening ahead of a cold front would damage and wind the main drive. There was also a chance of thunderstorms Sunday afternoon into the early evening. By the way, to the people out there, if I may. By the way, what was that? Oh, Pinal County, Arizona. From Penis County? No. But, um, anyway. This is also a pretty good thing in terms of DXing. If your main station goes off the air like WXM80 did, if you have the time and if you have a good radio, like the 400 or the 993, and if you have the good tropo field or something, or just in general on a clear night when it's not raining or anything, if you want a DX, go right ahead. Take ours. At Westfield, it was most picture of 73. Did you do the other one, sir? Just KV38. Throughout the region. And a chance of showers and WWH33. Hot with high. Wait, hold. It's doing the same damn thing on channel six. Nope. KWO 35. Alert in effect until 11 p.m. this evening. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation has issued an air quality health advisory for the following counties. Nassau and Suffolk. Until 11 p.m. this evening. Air quality levels in outdoor air are predicted to be greater than an air quality index value of 100 for the pollutant of ground level ozone. Right, I know I can get a KC 47. I could, I've gotten it before. Q. At least in the right conditions. Easy way to correlate levels of different pollutants to one scale. There we go. There's KHB 47, barely getting it. KHB 38. Thursday, west to southwest, wind 5 
Yeah, you heard the V1 reception. So now let's head for the V2. The higher the A, Q, high value, the greater the health. High noon, I would say. Cage with 38. Individuals consider limiting strenuous outdoor physical. Oh, fucking backed it out. Are you serious? People who are being hot. That sucks, isn't it? Yeah. Very young. Oh, God, he's gonna wake up, isn't he? Yeah. I'll take care of that. Yeah, you take care of that. I'll go ahead and fucking. Look at this. Saturday. West to southwest winds less than 10 knots. South to southwest. Sea 3 to 4 feet. Saturday night. Southwest wind 5 to 10 knots. Sea 3 to 4 feet. Fucking hate that. Oh, these dogs over there that are parking at us. Yeah, we're not doing shit to them. We're literally right here in our own property, and the fucking dogs are barking next door. Probably having sex like the neighbors did the other night. I mean, you never know. Twelve thirty-seven. Five. Nine. For more information on ground level <laughs> ozone and fine particles, but anyways, call 35. Were you able to get WXM 60? I was not. Uh, 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 oh wait, WXM 60? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you meant so. At the battery, high tidal at 10:29 p.m. Tuesday. At the assault and battery. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you came up with that. Um, really? At 10 p.m. At Tom's River, it was clear. The temperature was 77 degrees, the dew point 72 degrees, and the relative humidity 84%. To possibly severe with gusty winds and small hail being the primary threat. Any thunderstorms will also be associated with heavy rain as well. It will continue to be hot and humid, with highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Maximum heat index values will be lower to mid 90s, with some upper 90s. So, you know what I just now realized? What? If I may, look at this. The color of the WR400s... It's the same color as your dad's Cadillac. Oh shit, yeah. See? Look! Miles. Look, it's literally the same color, look at this. Legit, the same exact color. So, confirmed. Your dad drives a WR400 in car form. Albeit a Cadillac ATS, but... Boy. What? I mean, the shade on the 400 is a little bit more paler. But... And you drive the Solar Link LL Bean and... Fire... It was a Firefly, don't worry. And you drive the LL Bean Solar Link. Jesus Christ. Literally, look, it's blue. Yeah. See, even though, albeit blue all over, but... Then again, what weather radio out there is blue everywhere? I actually never even thought of that. So, with that out of the way, if I, if I may, before I blind myself. <laughs> so, signal quality on both of these 400s. I did do a little bit of ZXing, but mainly getting KHP38, WXM60, and uh, KHP47. Um, granted, I don't get these stations on the daily, but you can't really control the atmospheric conditions. Like, you can't make it so, like, oh, hey, let's... Let's make it all seven channels available just for Trumbull and make and make jack shit available for Spruce Pine. So, with that out of the way, uh, whoa, I just saw five bars out here, which probably makes sense. Um, so, now that we've discussed the what are you doing? Michael, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>
I'm gonna send the zone guards to attack you if you go down to the main street. Well, time to lock him out of the house. <laughs> And with that being said, uh, why don't we talk about, unless there's anything else he, that Michael wants to go over, um, why don't we talk about, the, what the fuck are you doing at the corner of the street, you psychopath? Not deserted enough yet. Nothing, but... Not deserted enough yet. We need to wait a while. Oh, whoa, Mount Holly issued a marine warning. Uh, Delaware Bay. Oh, shit! What? Delaware Bay! Hold this! Hold this! Oh, my fucking god, there was any... Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> What station is that? KSB 38, Atlantic City. He's caught on the open water. Stay below the if possible and keep away from ungrounded metal objects. How about that? An EAS alert during a radio reviews episode. <laughs> My first marine warning! <laughs> yes! How about that? Freaking my first ever marine warning and I got it. We got it. We got it. And we were probably still filming the radio reviews. We are. We are. Jesus Christ. That was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know what happened, but that was cool. Look at that. Special marine warning. Okay, you know what? I am pumped. Let's get on to the next feature. I am pumped. All right, the last feature on the WR400 version two and the version one, and that would be the battery indicator. Very useful if you have like fully charged batteries and it'll tell you the levels of the batteries in said radio. The 300 does not have that. Well, technically it does, but only it, the, the indicator only shows up if it's on low battery power. This one, however, it actually shows how how charged the batteries are. So let's say if it's a, it'll the one bar will go down if it's at like 50%, then 25% it'll show one bar, and then after that it'll blink to let you know, hey, the radio's on the verge of fucking dying. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much about this feature. I'm I'm still fucking pumped for that marine warning. I'm still <laughs> pumped from that shit, dog. Yeah, this is a, this is actually his first marine warning that he got. Yeah, ever, 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 ever. I've never, I've never got a uh, got a marine warning before this. Even during Myrtle, even when I was down in Myrtle Beach, I never got a marine warning. Until now, thank you, Mount Holly. So let's go to the final thoughts on the WR four hundred V two. So, as the warning light continues to shine brightly on the version 1 400, let's talk about the final thoughts. So, the WR400, the, the, just the lineup in general, whether you got the original or the facelifted model, they are both amazing radios. Oh, and uh, I have them plugged back in, this way, uh, this, this way I don't kill the batteries. I'm like, no, I fucking it's still Um, so, so the radios are amazing in general, great reception. In fact, if I could... It's still picking up KXB 38. It's still getting KXB 38 on freaking DC power. Or AC power, or whatever. 
ACDC. <laughs> so, it's still getting KHP. This one is still getting KHP 38. This one I could try and get it, but I'd have to move the antenna. But aside from that, the radios have amazing reception. Build quality is absolutely, per is, 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 I'd say it's pretty good. Um, it still does have some of its flaws that were not fixed, but honestly, it's a great radio, especially if you're looking to start off uh, your collection. So, oh, and uh, yeah, did I mention that I, uh, that I have uh, color changing lights, and I matched them for the warning light, because... Oh, man, let's not forget this little guy. The Amazon, the Amazon Glow. I'm not gonna say the Echo Glow, cause then the, uh, yeah, the thing will go off. Yeah. So. I was, uh, the Eco. <laughs> that could work. So. The Echo dot. Echo. So, so yeah. So the the WR400 is a really great addition. Or a great starter, I should say, to your collection. And it, it's also we forgot to mention this, but a lot of the radios now have have this, some of the radios now have this feature. You can actually charge your phone from it or plug in whatever into the side of it. One thing I have yet to try out: Would it be possible to plug in a WR400 into another WR400? What do you mean? Because the original WR400 has a micro USB port for the power. Let's let's do that after the marine warning expires. All right, let's let's test that out after the marine warning light expires. Mm -hmm. Because I want to keep that on there. So. Yeah, so the 400 is a great radio to get if you're looking to start your collection. It's. I'd say it's a uh, pretty damn good uh, radio if you're just looking to add or start off your collection, as I just said, like about five fucking times. But. It does have some of its flaws, but the uh, pros outweigh the cons in this situation. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this very unique episode of Radio Reviews. Like always, be sure to click like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. And also be sure to subscribe to Clay Ranger 143 who's currently under the now red lights, as opposed to uh, don't fall off the bed like you did in one of the other episodes. <sighs> and you better not... Absorb that red warning light of Marine. And hello, Dust Storm Advisory for Maricopa and Penis. I mean, penal counties. Mm -hmm. It's reflective. It's a reflective silver case. It'll work. Let me absorb the marine warning. You better not pull an Isaiah on my fucking bed, dude. I'm sleeping there tonight. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> So, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Obviously, after you subscribe to us, because you're, cause you're not going to get more content from us if you don't subscribe. This is Thunder Buddy 01 signing out, along with... Clay Ranger 143. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See ya.